First and goal at the three. Lining up in the clock at 10 seconds and ticking. In the shotgun, Mahomes. Four-man front, receiver in motion, low snap. He runs and he throws, caught, touchdown! It's caught! Hardman caught the ball! The Chiefs have won! The Chiefs have won! The entire bench empties! Chasing Mahomes in the end zone! Their third Super Bowl in five years! The Chiefs are back-to-back Super Bowl champions! It is a dynasty! Kevin Harlan, one of the best out there to do it, if not the very best, calling the win by the Kansas City Chiefs. It is a dynasty. It is. The Chiefs don't want to call it a dynasty. It That's is. not for them to say. It's for everyone else to say. And if they're not a dynasty, I don't know what the hell is a no, dynasty. It's a, so, the NFL's most dominant. Do you find it kind of cool? That like they like I think it's kind of cool that they've got a dynasty yet they've lost a Super Bowl. I mean I know they'd like to win four and the Chiefs fans, but that to me is also what makes it unique. We haven't really seen like dynasties like that or like this where it's like, well they lost one pretty bad, but they kept fighting and here they are and now they've won two more after that bad loss in the Super Bowl. Uh, I think that adds to the uniqueness of what the Chiefs are doing. All right, give me the most dominant dynasty you're up first. Well, I mean, like, are we really going to pick the Patriots, right? I mean, is that even part of this? Like, I mean, you know, I, I want to be like, should we even? I mean, it was 20 years. Obviously, that was like the most dominant, right? I mean, I almost want to. There were two of them. Yeah. There were two. Right. With a 10-year break. Which one would you put above the other? Well. The first three or the second three? Uh, oh, that's a good question. I don't know. That, I don't know. Maybe the first three. But, yeah, there was a break, but they lost two in the middle there, too. So, it's like, I don't know. Right. Was there a break? I mean, damn. So, I almost, I'm not going to pick them just because I feel like it's obvious, okay? I'm not going to do it right now. I almost want to call it the Patriot Memorial Draft. I'll go with the Niners of the there 80s go, and 90s. Fine. Niners of 80s and 90s. Right. Let's leave the Patriots out of it. I just look at that and go, wait, in the 80s, they went to what? Five NFC championship games. They won four Super Bowls. They almost came back and beat the Redskins in the 83 championship game. Of course, we're on the fringe of beating the Giants in the 90 championship game. You go to, you know, three, three more in the 90s. You win a Super Bowl there. Right. I, I look at them and I think what adds to it to me is, you know, really controlled all Super Bowls other than the one in Miami against the Bengals. Dominated the Dolphins, dominated the Broncos. You know, the first matchup against the Bengals was close, 26-21 if I remember, but they kind of had control of the game late. Uh, I'll go with the Niners of the 80s and 90s. Well, you know where I'm going to go. I'm going to go with the Pittsburgh Steelers because you accused me of being a Steelers fan. Of course. In the 70s, I most definitely was not. They won four Super Bowls. If I had become a Steelers fan back then, I wouldn't be sitting here right now because my desire to enjoy that Super Bowl winning experience would have been quenched and I would have done something else with my life. So, sorry, folks. If I'd have been a Steelers fan, you wouldn't have to deal with me. The Steelers of the 70s, four Super Bowl wins between 74 and 79. That was the original true dynasty of the Super Bowl era. We're going to have to take a break. We'll cram in the final two rounds as we land the plane or not when PFT Live concludes right after this. All right, let's go. Two more rounds in the most dominant dynasty draft. Chris, who you got? You know, it's a, it's a tough one here. I think I'm going to go with the Chiefs of right now. I am. I You know, again, I know, right, they haven't won any of these Super Bowls in a dominant way. I get that, but I mean, again, the, the, the we, we saw the 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 Patriots, they had six Super Bowls, and they didn't win one in a dominant way, right? So that, I'm not going to say that. I'm going to go with the Chiefs just from the mere fact of I don't know. None of these teams went to six straight AFC championships. None of these teams went to four out of five Super Bowls and won three of them. I mean, damn, I don't know. That's a pretty special run. So I know the Super Bowls themselves haven't been blowouts or dominant, but that doesn't matter. And so I'm going to go with the Chiefs as my second pick. We had some very pointed objections earlier this week talking about the unprecedented three-peat potential for the Chiefs because the Packers had done it before in the 60s. I downplayed it then. I cannot downplay this. 61, 62, 65, 66, yeah. 67. Right. Five championships. 
from 61 to 67. I know it wasn't merged and only two were Super Bowls, but the Packers were the original NFL dynasty. They were unstoppable in the 60s. Yeah, they were. They definitely were. This man, the last one here. I, I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna have to go with like the Cowboys of the 70s, right? It, it, it hurts you. It's not. Oh, not the 90s. Not, you know, not the, the Phil Cowboys. Well, those are two. But I will say with the Cowboys, what did they go in the 70s? Did they go to five Super Bowls? I know they won two. You know, they lost championship games. They went to five and won two. Right. So they yeah. were all over it in there almost every single year. So I'll I'll give them some loves. Well, love. Last one for me, some love for Joe Gibbs. Yeah. Three Super Bowl wins from 82 to 91. Lost three one. three different quarterbacks. Right. And another Super Bowl appearance. All we right, all forget it. about that, Enjoy Dynasty. Wednesday. See ya. See you tomorrow. Hi, it's Mike Florio. Thanks for watching PFT on YouTube. Hit subscribe for the latest news and analysis from Pro Football Talk.